Okay, so first of all, I want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Um, I haven't been uploading many videos during the past 10 days, I believe. Um, well, it was Christmas time, um, I worked and I got sick like, two times. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I haven't uploaded that many videos. I did film, finished up Vlogmas and I filmed on the 26th and 27th. So those video, these videos will be up um, shortly after this one. So you'll see this one and then Vlogmas. Um, I do Vlogmas in French if you haven't been like watching these. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year since I haven't said anything really in a video. So yeah, um, I hope this new year will be amazing for all of you. Um, so yeah, um, for this video I just wanted to do a beauty haul because um, it's only from Sephora. Because I did go shopping during Boxing Day week. Um, so I will have a clothing haul coming up soon. It's just I'm waiting for an item that's supposed to come in the mail like this week. So, um, yeah, a clothing haul will be up, but I knew this beauty haul was going to be long, so I didn't want to make one video, I wanted to split it in two parts. And so, yeah, I'll have this video up, the vlogs, and probably after just the haul, clothing haul. So, yeah, um, so I'm really excited to show you what I got. There's actually two things that were gifts for my parents, so I'll show you, show you those first. So, first of all, there was, and also I'm at my boyfriend's place in his like little office so that's why you probably don't know where I am right now and I decided to film this in English because I don't know beauty haul I just if you've been watching my videos you know I don't make that many beauty hauls but lately I've been super into beauty and the most of the people I watch that make like higher end I'm not saying this is like super high end but I've been so into like higher end products lately like I do so much research about the products I'm actually gonna buy so yeah I've been super into like reading reviews um, like online on Sephora I've been like watching reviews on products um, I don't know I've been super into higher end products and there's a lot of people I really like watching their videos they make them in English so I was like I don't know, I just wanted to film in English, so, and I know people like my videos in English because I stopped kind of making them, so yeah, hope you will be happy that I'm making a video in English, but the clothing haul will be in French, but yeah, lately I've been super into beauty, especially like, anything that says, like, brightens, radiant, luminous, glowy, I'm just super into it. When I first started watching YouTube, I was all about the fashion, but now I'm all about the beauty, because I feel like I have every single clothing item you could ever think of, so now I'm just super into beauty. Anyways, that intro is super long, so I'll show you the first thing that I have to show you. It's actually a perfume that I've been wanting for two years. Um, it's been such a long time. Um, I mentioned it to my parents, but I didn't know they were actually going to purchase this for me, so I was super, super happy. It's just one of those things, one of those things that I would have purchased myself, but it's super expensive. That it's kind of hard to purchase for yourself, you know. It's like a big step, you know, <laughs> not a big step, but you know, it's not like, I don't know. So it's this perfume, so it's the Hot Couture Bag, it's Givenchy, Givenchy, I say Givenchy, but you're supposed to say Givenchy. Anyways, it is so pretty. The bottle is so pretty. It's my first like luxurious perfume. I was just super happy when I received this and it, it smells amazing. It smells, can I say more corn? Yeah. It smells like, um, like warm, sexy sugar. If that's like, if you can imagine that, that is what it smells like. It, I really, really like it. I'm not the best at describing scents, obviously, like everyone, but it smells super good. If you haven't smelled this, you definitely have to smell it. And it looks super good on my makeup table. I just love it. So, yeah, I was super excited when I received this because I was not expecting it. Expecting it. So I was super glad about that. And then also I asked, um this which is the hourglass and the Atlantic powder in diffuse light which i have luminous light i love it but i realized it's maybe not the best all over powder for me since i'm so fair and um yeah it's it would be good for the nighttime um you know but for daytime this one is very good as a all over powder this is diffuse light as i said it's a light um yellow kind of powder it has um slight shimmer in it which i don't mind um so yeah, as I said, I'm super into like glowy, luminous things and I just love this, ooh, I just love this all over my face. It's just really great. I have dry skin. Right now the lighting might be very strange because the sun is go going down, but um, 
yeah, I really, really like it and I've been using it ever since I got it. And yeah, I still use Luminous Light, more like, I don't know, like I have it here. Um, I love it still, but um, it would be good all over your face for nighttime more because it's more no noticeable on the skin, which this just like, glows on your skin without being too like, oh my gosh, she has something she has shimmers on her face which i don't really mind but you know <laughs> so it's good for daytime so i've been I was super excited about this and then they got my parents got me also a gift card because i asked for the naked three but it was sold out but i'm super happy it was sold out because i realized i don't wear eyeshadows why would i need naked three i have eyeshadows from Too faced that i don't use and i have like palettes and stuff from Too faced that i really like but um i just don't use them enough and they're really nice colors that I like. I like Toby shades, mauve purpley. I think it suits me better. Um, so why would I want something that is rose gold that I don't really like anyways? So it's just like a silly purchase and it's like $64 in Canada, which is pretty expensive for something I wouldn't really use. So I was super happy I didn't get it. I used a gift card for something else and also I received Christmas money. So I kind of went crazy at Sephora and also you'll see in my clothing haul I bought a few things also so my mom when she went in Sephora she like mentioned my name because I used to be a beauty insider but then I got promoted to a VIB so I'm now a VIB which is really cool um so yeah and then I'll show you what I got when I went to the store um so first on Boxing Day there was a few items that were $12 which was super cool um so the first one actually my mom when she went in Sephora um she received a tiny, well, a tiny, it's actually not that tiny. She received, they gave, well, she gave it to me, but she got it for free because she bought a few things. Um, this old Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster. So she received this for free, so she gave it to me. But then I was so intrigued by this product that when I saw it was $12, I just gave this one to her and then I got this for me. So, um, it's the Naked Truth. It looks like this. And so many people, like, it, the guy at Sephora told me it was very popular. And when I went, like, a few days after Boxing Day, it was sold out. So, I would have purchased another one because I really like it. So, it says all skin type, um, the Naked Truth. So, it's supposed to, okay, it says, don't be afraid to go naked. It's true. You can achieve a flawless complexion without makeup. This power duo works together to brighten and even skin tone firm by supporting healthy collagen and hydrate to reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles which I don't have fine lines or wrinkles but you're never too young to start you know <laughs> preventing in this and it says uh, vitamin C complex I don't know it says all skin type and everything and I really like it I use it every single morning and even my dad I was super sick the other day I had the flu and my dad was like oh you don't seem sick your skin looks very glowing he didn't really say <laughs> these exact same words because it was in French but it basically means the same thing which he complimented me on my complexion <laughs> he said I look great so it's probably because of that because I felt horrible that day and um, I have the little sample cream this is truth cream advanced hydration so yeah um, a one fluid ounce of this is $60 and 1.7 fluid ounce is $90 which is super expensive and this is 0.5 fluid ounce which is pretty good I mean for $12 these two awesome so I'll use those I'll tell you how I feel about this I read amazing reviews so I'm super excited to see results as I said I feel like my skin looks better when I'm not wearing makeup like earlier today I was not wearing any makeup and I my skin looked great in my opinion better than like the past few months because the past few months my skin just been not bad I haven't been really breaking out but it's not that glowy because I have dry skin and I don't know, but I think it really made a difference. So I really like this product. I'm excited to see results, as I said, and maybe I'll purchase a full size. We never know, <laughs> which is pretty expensive. Though. So the other thing that was $12 was the Too Faced Cat Eye Kit. So it comes with a Deluxe, Deluxe, Deluxe um, Lash Injection 2 Mascara and then the Deluxe Perfect Eyes Eyeliner. So I don't have eyeliner. I have one, which is so crappy. I'll throw it out. But I don't really wear eyeliner on a daily basis. But I've been. I was super excited to get this. Um, 
so I have a swatch right here. It's super creamy. It's the creamiest eyeliner I've ever swatched, like tried in my whole life. It is waterproof. It doesn't smudge. It's like perfect. Um, I have it on today. It's smudged like really crappily because I'm so bad at it. Um, I'm getting better, but I smudged it on my upper lash line and I have it, I tight line my upper lash line. And I have a little bit on the bottom, but I really, really like it. Um, perfect black. This is the color and yeah, I just really, really like it. It's waterproof, so it's good, but it's not hard to remove, which I like. And then um, the Too Faced uh, Lash Injection Extreme Volume Tubing Mascara. Um, tubing or tubbing? I don't know. Um, I used this for the first time today, which I love the brush, but the consistency is kind of dry. Um, the brush is like natural it's not plastic brush which I hate plastic brushes um yeah as I said the consistency is kind of dry which I prefer liquidy foundation um liquidy mascaras but maybe it was just cold because I brought all my stuff here maybe it got cold outside because it's super cold outside um so yeah maybe that's why it was kind of dry but if it's still like this I'll just add a bit of water and I'll do I don't water or like fix gloss from mac um yeah it will probably work um i've done that in the past but i like the brush and i liked what it did to my lashes except i felt like i did i couldn't really work with it that easily because it was dry but like i said i'll see how it is but i like it even though it's dry so i got this for 12 dollars also which was awesome and then i also purchased um the ambient lighting powder in mood light which I returned because I was like why did I purchase this why would I want my face to look purpley rosy rosy <clears throat> sorry so I returned it which was a very silly buy because with my new VIB card I had a 10% so you know I got this this the mood light thing which is kind of expensive and I got a lipstick which I'll show you so I used my 10% for that then I returned the mood light so I kind of lost the 10% and bought more stuff so if you get what I mean, I could have just not buy the mood light, buy everything else I bought and have a 10% on that, but whatever. I just, I don't know. <laughs> so um, one thing that I got that I was super excited, I've been wanting this for a long time, it's the Rouge Volupté um, Silky Sensual Radiant Lipstick in number seven, which I've been wanting this for a while. It's lingerie pink, and I just love YSL lipsticks. I have one, I have number eight, which I got number eight when I was in New York and they didn't have number seven, which I thought I was buying lingerie pink, but I was not buying lingerie pink. Um, anyways, I still like number eight, but I just really wanted number seven. So it's a very light baby pink, pink. <laughs> um, it's very nice actually. I have it on my lips right now and it's so creamy and buttery. I love them and they smell amazing, these lipsticks. And also they just look so nice. They feel luxurious, they look luxurious, obviously. Um, I don't know, I just lately I've been wanting to spend to buy less stuff like clothes, even though I love clothes, but I, I've been buying less but like more expensive in a way. But they will last me a lot longer, and yeah, because I used to just go crazy at the drug, not crazy at the drugstore because I never got too crazy with makeup, but buying so many little lipsticks has lipsticks at the drugstore and just not wearing them which this I know I will finish it you know so yeah the swatch is here and as I said I've been doing so much research on the products that I buy that I like them and also if you don't like something I really like Sephora for that they will exchange it so you know mood light was uh, the ambient lighting powder was kind of silly but they took it back um, which I felt kind of bad returning it but they just took it back so you know, they're not mean about returns, which I like. So, yeah, it's such a pretty color. In Canada, this is 39 37 I can't really remember, but, yeah. Um, and then I got something else, which I was super excited to get. It's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which, again, I heard so many people talk about this. And I was using the Pro Longwear Concealer, which you will see, which I don't like. I hate the pump. It is... I'll talk about it more in like another video why I don't like it and why I'm so mad at MAC. <laughs> I probably won't shop that much at MAC except for eyeshadows if I want to create like a palette, like a customized palette or 
lipsticks because I do like their lipsticks but everything else I'm just not interested anymore I don't know and I I just don't want to go in the store again because I don't like the employees um maybe it's just my map store but I don't know so I got this so you can see the color difference this looks like um something I don't know it's just not me at all I'm super white and the girl matched me to this and I told her it was too dark for me and she said no so I'm super happy about that. Um, I wanted to keep using it because I got Pro and One concealer, you know, and I don't like wasting money. But I just had to purchase this one, and I love it. It comes with a applicator, which I really like because you can put the amount that you want. It is creamy. As I said, anything that is claims to be radiant, I just want to have it. And um, yeah, I'm in the color vanilla, which is the second to light lightest shade. Um, and it, it matches perfectly. It brightens my under eyes without making me look like I'm washed out. I have it on right now. It's just amazing. And it's creamy. It doesn't crease and it corrects a lot. So I'm super happy about that. Ooh, no. So yeah, this is $30, which I mean, it's, it's okay with me. I don't, I didn't mind paying that much because I don't know, I really, really like it. And I do see a difference. Like it really covers up. So I'm really excited about that. And then I got a Marc Jacobs blush. This is the Shameless Ball Blush, which I've heard so many people like talk about the Marc Jacobs line. It's my first item from the line, which I was really excited about. So it comes in a little pouch, which it's not like, you know, Chanel blushes come in like a velvet pouch, which I don't own a Chanel blush yet, but I really want one. <laughs> um, there's so many things I want right now. But this is enough for now. Um, so, yeah. I mean, the pouch is kind of deceiving. But, again, this is 37 So it's not as expensive as, like, Dior blushes or Chanel blushes. So the pouch is okay. It's still good that it comes with the pouch because it's 37 or 36 I have my receipts. I have, like, so many receipts because I returned something. Um... So, um, the blush is $36, so, you know, sh um, NARS blushes are like $34, so it's, there's not a big difference. So, yeah, it comes with a little pouch, which I like. I will carry my blush in this, because also it comes with a brush, and I do like the brush. I mean, there's some bristles that are, you know, over the place, but it's like angle, and I really like to apply my blush in when it's angle brush. I like angle brushes for blush. And then the packaging looks like this, which I really like. It's compact, it's cute, it's, I don't know, I like it. It says Marc Jacobs. And then the blush looks like this. I got Outspoken, which is a purple blush. So maybe it's kind of scary. Oh my gosh, purple. But I have it on right now. I have Dussara from NARS also, like just higher on my cheekbones because I'm not wearing bronzer. So I wanted to like warm up my skin tone with that. But this is amazing. It's really nice. Um, there's no shimmers, which I like because, you know, sometimes I add like luminous light and the lighting powder. So I don't want my whole face to be shimmery. So, you know. Um, but it just has like a sheen to it that gives a nice glow. So it's right there. Um, so it's really, really nice. And I, sw I was going to get, I was debating between this one or Dior rosy glow blush um which color wise they were not the exact same but they kind of gave that glow like when i swatched both of them aside they both looked glowy do you know what i mean um so i decided to go with that one just because i don't know i prefer the color um because i didn't have like a purpley blush but as i said it doesn't look purple on your cheeks it's not like oh my gosh purple blush um so yeah i really really like it and I'm excited I got it. So it's my first Marc Jacobs product and I'm impressed. The quality is great. I've been wearing it like a few times, but I like it. And as I said, it gives a glow to your face, which I really like. And it looks really natural. So that is good. So yeah, I'm really excited about this purchase. And then, what else? Okay, now I just have like sample. Well, you'll see. Okay, so first I use 100 of my points, uh, which I got the Clarins. Paris uh, Beauty Flash Balm. It says it brightens and tightens. So, ooh, can't really see. So yeah, anything 
as I said earlier, it said beauty um, brightens. I was like, I want to have it. So 100 points for that. It comes with 50 millilit milliliters, which is just good. And it's a primer, actually. I heard a few people talk about it, which they use it as a primer. I use it twice. Um, I'm excited to use it more to see what it really does. I like the consistency. Um, it smells okay. So I'm excited to see what it does to the skin, actually. Um, but this is pretty expensive. It's $50 for the full size. So, yeah, I'll see how I like it. And then, also at Sephora, um, I asked for a sample of the Marc Jacobs Genius Shield Foundation. He, um, the guy matched me in 14 Ivory Medium. But that guy was so sweet. He was really, really sweet. And, um, yeah, people in Sephora, the employees are, like, super good. They're really nice um, and very helpful. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know what I want to say. A lot of people helped me, and they were all super nice. So... Yeah, it's a big difference from Mac. Mac employees are super rude and they just want to sell you stuff. They don't even mind if it looks good on you. They just want to sell you stuff, which I hate <laughs> about Mac. My phone is about to die. Um, so yeah, anyways, that guy was super sweet. He gave me a sample, which I haven't tried yet. I'm excited to try it. He like, well, my phone is about to die. Okay, um, yeah, I'm excited to use it. I'll do a first impression when I try it. Um, um, the girl at the cash just gave me this Clinique little sample thing, and I used to have all of the Clinique skincare. Um, I still use the moisturizer, but she gave me the cleanser, the exfoliant, and the moisturizer. So, yeah, and it's for my skin type, so that's pretty good. So, yeah, um, I'm super happy about everything that I got. Um, I'm excited. Well, I use pretty much everything. Yeah, I use everything. Um, so yeah, if you have any like recommendations of like Dior products that you absolutely love, Chanel products, because sometimes it can get overwhelming, like you don't know what to get. Like for me, it's that way. Like Marc Jacobs, I didn't know what to get, but I knew I wanted to try something. So yeah, and I'm starting just to buy more makeup because I used to just buy clothes, clothes, clothes. Now I have enough, so I'm experimenting in beauty world. And yeah, I mean, I as I said, I want to like research my products more and buy better quality products but I want to love them so I hope you enjoyed this haul um I had really fun purchasing all of this I'm excited to try everything you will probably see those products in future I'll do more like favorites videos and all those type of videos so if you have any requests just leave them down, be down below I will be uploading my vlogs and my clothing haul is coming up soon so hope you enjoyed this I will see you in my next video and yeah, just leave me requests, suggestions, and anything you want in the down bar, in the comments. So yeah, uh, I missed filming, in, I really like filming in English, even though I'm looking for my words so much, but I really do enjoy filming in English. So I'll probably make more videos in English, and like keep vlogs and everything French. I'll do most of my videos kind of in French, but I do still want to make videos in English because I really enjoy it. And I enjoy seeing your comments, and yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. It was super long. I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.